In this episode of Off The Grid With The Badger, we leave the big smoke and the bitumen behind and meet up with a fella who knows where to find the sweetest bush tucker we've ever tasted. Yeah. Looks like you're getting skinny, mate. Yeah, mate. Seeing you on TV, you a big tucker, <laughs> playing rugby. We'll throw a line at his secret fishing spot too. <laughs> <laughs> This is a mythical place, full of history and culture, and it's pretty tough to think of a better spot for an adventure. Blair and I are up to our old antics as we head into one of the final frontiers of Australia, Arnhem Land. Alfie couldn't join us this time, but he's pulled a few favours from some of his old mates up here to show us the ropes. Once again, we're pack light, and our only source of food on this trip is what we can find and catch. It's going to be bloody hot, tiring, and a massive challenge. But that's the only way to truly get off the grid. Well, Badge, Arnhem Land. We've got a week up here. Good old fashioned boys trip. What are we going to get up to? That's it, mate. With our limited skill base, <laughs> our YouTube warrior antics, mm -hmm. hopefully will serve us well. We do have a bit of hunting and fishing and a couple of blokes to spear us in the right direction. <laughs> what could go wrong? All right, mate. Let's get off the grid in Arnhem Land. <laughs> Yeah. Got to admit, Blair's sense of direction is about as accurate as a busted compass. With our direction clear as mud, we hit the road to catch up with a local fella, who's quite the character. Right, well, I hope we can find him because we're already late. Yeah, late as usual. Uh, but anyway, let's give it a go. We'll be up here somewhere. Right. Let's go. Yeah. Righto, we're locked and loaded and ready for our first mission. And it's good to be back on the hook. Are you sure there's no bloody salties? Yeah, maybe? better be careful, I don't know. Here. Oh, there he is. Hey! 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 <laughs> Sorry we're late, mate. Yeah, I was back when you come earlier, mate. No, the traffic was terrible. Cool. <laughs> <All Anyway. right. laughs> she's, she's over. Oh, he sounds a bit filthy. We're how you doing, yeah, mate? Hold on, hustle up. Alfie did mention this bloke's a tad short of patience. I hope he's a cat person. Yeah, expecting you to come a bit earlier. Mate, uh, good to meet you. Hey, you must be Nick. That's it, mate. Uh, I'm, I'm Blair. Darryl, Blair, hey, Darryl, I'm Darryl, nice Darryl, Darryl. Darryl. I'm just about to get me lunch myself, you know? Mate. Yeah. Well, we're sorry for holding you up, mate. My cat fell pregnant and I bought some snacks. It's only got a big story. Oh. The vet was busy. Oh. Mate, we're, we're happy to be here. Mate. Need to learn from you. What do you got? Yeah, I'm doing a uh, making a fire just to try to get me a self lunch. Yeah. Looks like you're getting skinny, mate. Yeah, well, mate. Seeing you on TV, you a big that <laughs> playing rugby. Fair yeah. enough. Where is the bird? I got Damn. I got two here. If you want to try, throw yeah, them. Yeah. I got one there. You yeah, might yeah. try give that. Give it a pull. Yeah, yeah give it a pull. I'll, what I'll about the traps? Should I get that? Give it a yeah, right. Yeah. Up, pull that too. With Daryl already taking the Mickey out of me. It's got me thinking it's time we started chasing a feed. We leave no stone unturned as Blair throws in the last of the cherubim pots. After our long drive, Blair is itching to get back on the rod. And it just takes a couple of quick casts to blow out the cobwebs. Tell you what, old Daryl's into me, under the pump. He reckons I'm getting skinny. It's hard going for one to feed out here, but that bloody billabong over there is my ticket. Put some beef on and prove to him that I'm not a muppet. With the midday sun beating down and the fishing quiet, Daryl makes the call to change tack. We jump in the Amarok and hightail to one of his secret honey holes to find something a little sweeter. We're just out here, chasing feed. A bit of sugar, a bit of morale booster for the boys. There's a sugar bag, B. It's a, it's a local, local bee around here and it's got the sweetest caramel, burnt, caramel kind of taste to it apparently. What we're looking for are these little sugar bees here that are landing right on my leg, which means that they're in this area right now. So I think Blair can get a bit of sugar up him, or reckon he'll spark him up. Now, when I'm in the bush, I follow one golden rule. Tread lightly, leave no rock unturned, hydrate well, stay alert, and keep your senses sharp. Here we go, looks like we've got a couple here, boys. Righto. He's gotta be here somewhere, look. Come yep. on. 
You sure they're just not regular flies? <laughs> well, I did drop my guts earlier. <laughs> yeah. I could have something to do with it. Have a shower for a couple of days. Yeah. I can't even smell them. Yeah. That doesn't smell sweet though. No, it's not sweet. If it is them, they're pretty crook. The nest might be off. Yeah. After hours of searching this hot and dry ridge line with no sign of the sugar bag beehive, we're starting to fade. But we press on knowing this could be our only source of tucker for the day. Daryl decides to dig further up the ridge, while Blair and I keep digging away like our lives depend on it. Finally, we hear a welcome yell from Daryl. Sounds like he struck bush tucker gold. You got some? Found some. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Daryl. The boys are on, and just like that, we're off like a bride's naughty, sidestepping trees and dodging rocks. It feels like under 12 footy. Oh no, there he is. Oh. Dazza. I just found some. Good man. Yep. That's what you came all the way here for. That's what he looked like. That's the wild honey. That's amazing. Yeah. Squeeze a little bit, Don't put it in your hand. Here we go, get in there. Yeah, break some of it. There you go. Oh. Holy doolies. Have a taste, mate. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Give you a power to play more rock with you. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, look. Yum, oh. oh. Have some, Holy mate. snapping duck poo. See that? Wow. Oh, that's delicious. Isn't that sweet? Yep, there. It's cross between toffee, caramel, like burnt caramel, that salted caramel. More. Yeah, it's a honey caramel. Yeah, yep. it is. We've struck gold all right. This sticky snack puts some lead back in your pencil. With a much needed energy boost, Daryl commandeers the Amarok and takes us to his local fishing spot. We'll need to scamper down a steep cliff face in order to hunt our dinner before the local freshies decide to snatch our catch. Blair doesn't muck around and gets straight into the action. And see this whole area? Yeah. That's where we'll be lining up with Got one. Got one. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's Barra. Well, I hope so. Yes, that's Barra. Well, that's sooty, I think. Catfish. Well, that's sooty, I think. Oh, yeah. It's a good black brim, is it? Yeah. Good black brim. I'm going to walk him up here, Dad. Yeah, what about here? You, you, oh, you, you might him? land him for me down there. We'll do the double tech. Righto. Oh, no. It's a nice fish. See? Oh, popped him. Oh. Oh, Bloody hell, Nick. Why would you feel faster on that? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all, uh... It's your fault. As the sun starts to set, Daryl decides to pull stumps, so it's up to Blair and I to get the job done. When Tucker's on the line, there's simply no choice. After copping the blame for losing Blair's fish, I get in the zone and something starts tugging on me rod. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something's had a little crack at him. <laughs> that little sooty, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Love the pop gun. Oh, he's a nice sooty, mate. You got him pinned all right. Yeah, bring him up. There we go. Well done. That's, buddy, that's a feed though. What a popper. And that's all she wrote for day one. I've got to say, those northern sunsets never get old. While the cherubin pots come up empty, it's time to set up the bush kitchen. Righto, that's looking about right. Yama. Cooking times usually depend on how hungry you are. And once again, I'm a little premature. Oh, yama. Oh, that's cool. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, is that a back strap? That is a oh. <laughs> It's okay, can't get yeah. much worse. Oh, look at that. Yep, that's me. Mm. Okay. Very charcoal-y. <laughs> Even if I slightly undercooked the fish, it hasn't stopped us from enjoying our first night in the bush. With a 50-50 chance of salmonella, we put on a brave face and head off to bed. Odds on, it's going to be an explosive start tomorrow. Next time on Off The Grid With The Badger, Blair and I take the plunge. Jump in a tinny and go hunting for Barra before heading deep into croc country where the local crossing guards are just waiting to snap us up. Bring it <laughs>